Hello, my name is Georgina Albadri. Thank you for watching my SSI fellowship application presentation. So I've been at UCL for over, um, over eight years now as an undergraduate and as a PhD student, and I've been involved in interdisciplinary research for the past six. My research journey began thanks to two EPSRC vacation bursaries. In the first, I actually did a stint in the cell lab collecting experimental data for a modeling project. And then in the second, I was introduced to the computational side, starting to understand how maths and data came together with the help of software. So this second project also introduced me to um, a software called Comsol, which is not open source. It's not cheap. It's got an expensive yearly subscription per user and uh, or per computer, uh, which I will come on to. You might be surprised that I wasn't introduced to any programming as part of my um, MSIM mathematics and physics degree. I think this has since been changed, but it's still only forms a very tiny part of the overall degree. But fortunately, I was pushed into trying Python out properly in my master's project, in which I was modeling a cell population in a neural tube. I'm now in the final year of my PhD, developing a computational model of vascular network formation. Looking forward, I'm applying for uh, research associate funding to continue the development of this computational model as an open source software. And I'm also considering jobs in RSD, so I'd like to take the next one to two years to um, gain more skills and experience for this too. The aims of my PhD project, um, which the main is to develop a useful in silico model of in vitro vascular network formation. So essentially takes what happens with some cells in a dish and um, model this uh, in silico. The, the two main aims would be to understand the cell processes involved and then to use the in silico model with the help of um, some data to parameterize the model um, as a virtual lab to be able to optimize experimental variables. The PhD is involved developing the PDE model and then implementing this computationally. So this has been a very steep learning curve to me. I was fortunate enough to discover a drop-in for the UCL RSC group in February 2020, although unfortunately, as this was just pre-COVID, this was the one and only time I got to discuss my code in person. And I was also unaware of other resources, such as Software Carpentry, the RSC in Python lecture notes, and the Software Sustainability Institute own guides. Since finding out about these uh, just over a year ago, I've made a huge amount of progress, and I'd really like to help others become more aware of these at the beginning of their PhD if it's going to involve some computational modeling. This brings me nicely on to what the open source challenges in mathematical biology are. So the first I mentioned is this frequent reliance on expensive software such as console multiphysics. I appreciate if a lab or research group has used this for a number of years, it might feel like a huge amount of resources would be uh, required to move this um, to an open source platform. But the second point comes into this, I think there's a lack of awareness of existing open source software. There are quite a few things that are already written that can be built upon if you know about them. The third issue is that code is the code that is written from scratch is, tends to be written by and for one user. Even if it's published, it might not have enough documentation to support other users. And then the fourth, um, there's a lack of confidence, um, perhaps uh, you know, lack of confidence towards writing software and publishing the software, and also the lack of awareness of the resources to support uh, well-documented code. So my plans for the SSI fellowship to address these uh, firstly involve a local seminar series. So I say local, but I'd also like these to be streamed and available on YouTube for other people to watch. Um, the idea would be that the, all of the speakers in the seminar series would be researchers in mathematical biology, computational biology, or biophysics, bioengineering, who use or develop um, open source code. I would really like these talks to be accessible to all from undergraduate level up. So rather than a technical talk, it would be more about uh, their research question and then their journey towards writing code um, to help people understand that you don't need um, you don't need a degree in computer science and it's very uh, common for people to start writing um, open source codes uh, from scratch or from little background knowledge. The second aim for this series would be to raise awareness uh, for the the options and raise awareness for resources available and to create a community united by the interest in open source. And this leads into the final output point is that once you have this community, we can use them to really find out what the common questions and barriers are still in mathematical biology and related areas. And this could inform a potential workshop at the end of the seminar series. The other outputs, as I mentioned, would be, the, the, would be that these talks would be streamed on YouTube and we would also have a blog post series about the events. The second part of this would be to propose a mini, mini symposium at um, a Mathematical Biology International Conference. This would be at the Society for Mathematical Biology in July 2023, in which I'd like to propose a mini symposium entitled Open Source Mathematical Biology. So in this, we would have four to five speakers who have been using and developing open source code, similar to the seminar, but to reach um, a much larger audience. 
the submission for this pro uh, mini symposium proposal will probably be mid to late 2022. Uh, thirdly, I'd also like to use some of the funding to attend conferences for my own personal development, which are listed here. Uh, so the support the fellowship could give me, um, just the title of SSI fellow would really support my position as organizer of the seminar series and as co-chair of a possible mini symposium. I would also utilize my department um, for support and senior academics as uh, they can aid in inviting external speakers and also help disseminate the event details. Finally, the SSI fellowship would also give me funding for event catering, travel for external speakers, and my own travel and conference registration costs for personal development um, at conferences such as RSCCon and PyCon, if these uh, take place. Thank you.